get back over to Katie for oh. a look at the forecast. Yep, and I'm coming. All yep, right, on getting way. up today. But I will say, as we look over here at this live look, it's nice to see some blue sky. Are things clearing yeah. up now, Katie? We're going to see some breaks. This is actually exactly, I was literally, I was updating the model because I wanted to show you where the breaks were. And so that's where I got lost in my timing because I wanted to be able to show you about these, what this is and what this is coming. Now, just because you're seeing this break here does not mean that you're in the clear altogether. What it means is that you're seeing a place where the clouds and everything have broken up and we're expecting another chance to come a long way. For example, tomorrow we should be partly cloudy and dry to start the morning because overnight tonight into tomorrow we see things on the calmer side, cooler, then we get to noon and there's a chance for showers. Now this is going to be dependent on where you are within the region. If you're in the central part of the coast, if you're Salem south in the valley, you're probably going to stay completely dry tomorrow. But if you're more north in the metro or in southwest Washington, you're probably going to see a shower sometime between the noon and two o'clock hour. And then we go into the afternoon and early evening will likely be dry as we head into the evening and then the clouds will be clearing up. So as far as the break comes in the showers, the answer to that is yes. Not completely dry for some, completely dry for others. That's the, the quick answer. Here's what we've seen with your rain in the last couple of days. You can see really the first time we got anything was on Saturday. That was that three tenths of an inch. And then we've added the last couple of days. Not expecting there to be any new accumulation tonight. If there is, it's going to be very light. And then tomorrow we'll see what happens with those showers where they land coming through in the afternoon. There's one more chance that we have on our seven day forecast. That's Monday night into Tuesday morning. But this looks like a very weak system that's coming through, just a front that's coming that could bring us some showers. Might not be much, but of course we're going to keep an eye on it. So this is what I was working on. I wanted to show you, here we are, so you can see around five o'clock. Here are those breaks and those sun breaks that we were talking about, but you'll still see some showers here. This is going to continue to move and up into the northwest because we have that low pressure center that's to our south. But by the time we get to 11 o'clock, everything seems pretty dry and clear. We should see some stars. Then we get to around one o'clock and do you notice that a majority of everything is here to the north of the Portland Metro but there are a few little spots where we could see some showers that come through and then by the time we get to Sunday morning we look like we are in the all clear and not expecting to see any activity Sunday or Monday even not much cloud cover until we get into Monday afternoon. How much new accumulation? I mentioned not much. This is just one model, but look at that zeros all the way across. So if we do get something, it might not be measurable. We could be done with our rain accumulation for this round of showers and the next one. Once we get to Wednesday, a new ridge starts building in that brings us back to the 80s and then possibly upper 80s or low 90s as we go through midweek into the weekend. Overnight, we stay on the cooler side with the exception of one night. That's Monday into Tuesday.